we put too much trust on fast food restaurants cleaning out their ice machine on a regular basis. I worked at Burger King. The ice machine is the least of your worries. That place was nasty. LMAO. Don't even worry about the disgusting ice bins. Worry about the black mold inside the soda nozzles. I found the remains of two rats in the fryer filter of a restaurant. For quite a while the food had been cooked in oil that had been filtered through decaying rats. You put too much trust in your own freezer's ice machine and water dispenser cleanliness. I bet most of you have never cleaned it once. You eat fast food for convenience, I eat fast food to challenge my immune system. We are not the same. You mean to tell me minimum wage employees don't care about cleanliness? We worry too much about that one thing that happened to that one guy in Ypsilanti. I spend exactly zero minutes per year worrying about dirty ice machines. If only we had some sort of agency that oversaw food and maybe drugs. That could hire people to go and inspect how well restaurants were complying with health code violations. As a kid in the 90s at KFC we never cleaned it. Didn't even know you had to. Didn't know you had to until my apprenticeship on the strip and our ice machines were on a PM schedule. I want to say we hit a machine once a year if I recall B had a metric fuck ton of machines and ones much, much bigger than a restaurant one. We had large Voigt ice machines around the property and a half dozen super large Voigts in an ice house. As apprentice that was one of my jobs. We didn't even have to do the hard work of emptying the bin if ice. Stewarding did that the A union jobs. Cleaning itself was easy. Fast food places? At least they mostly have rules in place. I'd worry more about bars. I bartended for many years and was the only one who volunteered to clean that sucker out I work Sunday mornings and it was the perfect time to do so, kept me busy at a quiet time. Next time you go to your local pub ask them how often they clean that thing. They probably won't know. This comes from people that don't clean out their ice machines at home, don't clean their dishwasher monthly, refrigerator gaskets, their washer and dryer, air filters, etc. This is true of literally every restaurant, not just fast food joints. It's a much more common problem than you'd expect. I've had some weird-looking tasting ice in a lot of different places, including supposedly fancy restaurants. I don't trust them I just don't care as long as it doesn't kill me. I feel like most places will have them cleaned regularly. If an inspector finds it that bitch will be shut down for a period of time. I used to work at Subway in high school as a closer. I can assure that the soda nozzles at my location were clean because that was a part of my closing tasks. However, cleaning the ice machine was done by the owner. I worked there for one year and only saw him clean the machine once in all that time. I was warned about this when I first started and never used the ice. I saw a video just yesterday where a customer barged into the kitchen of a takeout joint. The workers immediately covered their faces when they saw the camera. There were open trays of food all over the floor with mice running around. The workers were stepping over the trays in their sneakers. The owner later said that the food was about to be thrown out but you could see them filling the takeout containers. It was so gross. Worked at Chipotle. Cleaned the ice machines weekly. I don't know if the Chipotle I worked at was different than the rest but our store was spotless all the time. I trust in European food safety standards, you ain't getting away with it for long. Yes I heard it from a family member, a good friend and by a few people from the internet. Every cream for coffee or ice machine is full of mold. I don't order ice or coffee since then. S it remembering that a documentary also found this out. I removed an ice machine from a hospital that flooded about a year ago and it was fucking revolting. Head doc said we couldn't have coffee inside cause someone could be allergic yet we were seeing nurses rolling around carts full of Tims. Fuck that place. 
Guarantee every major fast food company has strict ice cleaning guidelines. In DQ we have to clean it every six months. We have a third-party inspector that comes by and sweeps DMA to check on them. Our store cleans it every month. If someone did a perfect job emptying and cleaning the ice bin below the machine, is it adequate for it to be cleaned once a week? Dude having worked in high-end restaurants for about 12 years, it happens at very nice places even with frequent health inspection. Fast food places are literal petri dishes. Most ice machines are built in a way that's very tough to clean properly and once it passes a certain point it requires all the ice to be dumped, very few places will have someone come in on a day off or stay after midnight to do that. Don't even get me started on soda lines and nozzles. My wife warns me about black ice and mold in the soda machines. My father tells me to never have ice in your drinks on an airplane. Both were in the industries for decades. I live in ignorance. Not just conventional fast food restaurants, literally anywhere with an ice machine. I always ask for no ice. The dispenser has a chiller built in. We do have the Food Standards Agency with their food hygiene ratings. At in and out they take that seriously and do. Source me, it was my first job. Yes. I clean ice machines as part of my job and I rarely get ice now. I will say that if you are at a large chain then they have to follow certain regulations. Makes them a tad safer than most mom and pop places I've been to. Worked at a big restaurant that failed its five-star rating just because the bar staff never cleaned the ice machine. It was moldy as heck, like proper black mold inside that must have been there for months. Kitchen where I worked was spotless, the customer bar area was also super clean. Those ice machines and drink nozzles will fail any business and people usually think it's the food that makes them ill. Not me dude. I learned a long time ago that fountain drink machines are bad news bears. I assure you, I don't trust them to do anything. Hasn't seemed to stop me from going yet though and not gonna lie I hate myself for it. I used to work 12-hour shifts three days a week at a garage door factory. Every morning after work, my friends and I went to Waffle House to get breakfast, and in my drink was a spider frozen inside an ice cube. I feel like I remember them testing ice from fast food chains on Oprah and finding out their toilet water was more sanitary. Fast food places are subject to the same health department inspections as everywhere else. We had one at a fill steak place and we were supposed to clean it at least once a week, but it was an hour long process and we never had the time to stop and do it so it would get nasty and orange up top and had a sour smell until we had to make time to clean it. My buddy who worked at McDonald's once told me that I'd they don't clean out the shake machine every day it can build up bacteria. I asked if they did that and he said no. I've worked at two chains. The smaller one we had to clean them very regularly and they were inspected by auditors. The larger company we only cleaned when we could see stuff building up and we didn't have any real procedures or tools for doing it. My first job in the late 80s was working fast food, and I can honestly say I cannot recall the ice machine ever getting cleaned. I mean, we put too much trust in strangers preparing our food in general, we don't know what kind of disgusting activities are occurring that is contaminating our food but isn't quite making us sick so there is no real barometer. Look I know fast food is awful in almost every sense, I simply choose to remain ignorant and not care. It's more that we just choose not to think about it. Nobody chain or not cleans any of those things as well as they should. Might be why our immune system didn't completely tank after we as a species stopped drinking pond water. As a former FF manager. Can confirm. My job was always to go into struggling restaurants and fix them. 12 restaurants 10 years 9 unsanitary ice machines. Two brand new ice machines. And one dead. Ice machine.